Welcome. This is a tutorial video slash screencast on setting up or creating an account on Syndom, which is a cyberpunk role-playing game. It's a text-based uh, MUD or MOO, and it is possible to play it completely in your browser. So we are going to go through character sign-up or account sign-up and then character generation. So to start, you go to Syndom, S-I-N-D-O-M-E dot O-R-G. You can click sign up in the top right, or you can click the sign up button. From here, uh, if you're an existing player, you can click on this link. I'm assuming, since you're watching this video, you are not an existing player. My name is Slither, by the way. I'm a one of the justices or head admin on Syndom, uh, you will start out by entering your email address. I will enter, let's see, managers at stormcode.net because that is a random email that I have not used. Your emails need to match. Then you're going to choose a website username. This is also the name that will show up in the at who, which is up here. You can see your name will show up here and on our forums. So choose carefully. We don't let you change this after you've set it up. So I'm going to choose Slith Test. Going to enter a password. And I'm going to click Sign Up. So great success. Uh, please check an email, your email for a confirmation link. This is very important. You are not signed up yet. You still need to go check your email, click the confirmation link, and from that confirmation link you will uh, be able to confirm your account and once your account is confirmed you will be able to create a character. So I've checked my email in a different screen and I've got my confirmation link, and I'll hit enter. Um, it's going to ask you to confirm your email. Just sort of a double confirmation. And then you are logged in. Uh, this is your Your Character page. You can access it from up here. You'll notice you're logged in automatically. You're not always going to be logged in. Remember the email and password you signed up with, because that's for your website account. It's not your character password, I'm sorry, your character login for the actual game. Um, from here, you can create your first character. So you'll click the create character, or again, if you have an existing character, you can claim it here. You'll need your character name and password. So we're going to create a new character. Now it's showing this page, which is the your characters page. It says new character number dash one, blah, blah, blah. Just hit refresh, and all this. And in a minute, you'll see. Well, I guess maybe you don't have to hit refresh. Uh, again, you're getting an email at this point with your character details. It's not super specific. We have to update it. Um, so you should get another email with your character details, and from there, you are able to sign in. Just give me one second while I grab that information. So I have received an email with my username and a temporary password. So I can refresh this page and it took a minute but my character is now showing up there. To play you click play now and your password will be in your email. So it may ask you to log in, just simply enter your login information, character name for me. Sometimes you'll have a drop down here once you've officially logged in. If not, enter your character information. Your character name is a randomly generated name at this point. During character generation, you'll have a chance to actually create or, or rename your character. So you've entered your character name and password, you hit connect. 
And here we go. We're now connected to Syndom. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So this is the login screen here. And we're drifting to consciousness. You get a bunch of, every time you connect, you're going to get a list of forum posts and news items that are new to you. This is your first time connecting. You're going to see everything. So you can type look. When you type look, you'll see that you're in character generation. Welcome to character generation. You're about to determine several important bits of character information about your, or about information about your character. Would you like to take a minute to review some potential ideas for a character? Sure. Let's take a look at some ideas. There's the Ripper Doc, the Medic, the Street Samurai, the Gearhead, the Media Star, the Enforcer, the Fixer, the Street Thug, the Lord of War, the Candyman, the Cyber Jockey, the Tech Guru, and the Street Urchin. Let's check out the Street Urchin. That sounds fun. You hit 13, and it's going to give you some specific roles like Courier, Drug Dealer, Spy, and Smuggler. Some important stats to keep in mind, perception and agility, some important skills, thievery and stealth, some useful skills, dodge and disguise. So if you're not really sure where to start, these archetypes are a great place to get more information about the type of character you can play. And this is by far just examples. You can play any type of character. But as a new player, if you want a general idea of what characters need what skills, this is a great place to look through. Now that we're done looking through, we're going to type begin. And you have a choice to choose a male or female character. You simply type M or F, right? At this point, you this is your 100% in character decisions, uh, or, or in, in the sense that you're not, it's not asking if you yourself are male or female or transgender or anything like that. This is what your character will be. Uh, so male. Uh, now it will ask for your name. Don't just type your name. You need to type name and then the name you want. So name, let's do Brendan. That's my actual name. And let's see if that works. Or we can type suggest and it will suggest the name. Candeliario or something. <laughs> suggest. Nero. Suggest. Alejandro. Suggest. Adam. You can type suggest as many times as you want. I will choose name Brendan. Now it's going to ask you to confirm. The name that you choose is what other characters will see or will type to speak to you. It must be a real name, first, last, or nickname. It cannot be a combination of names like Irish Pride Kevin or Cyberpunk Demon Ghost Warrior Monster Mash. It would be Kevin or Mash. You want to name your character Brendan? Yes. You can type no and choose something else if you want. Now, from this point forward, after you hit enter, if you disconnect, you need to reconnect using the character name. No longer will you be using the randomly assigned name that the game gave you. Your password does, does not change, but you will, if I disconnect now, I will have to reconnect using Brendan. So I hit enter, just enter. And it tells me that I have 20 points to distribute among seven stats, right? Um, at this point, you can type help stats if you want to get an idea of some other some of the stats and, and general ideas about them. Um, each stat has substats. So there are strength. Well, some most stats have two substats. Strength and luck have one. So strength has a substat of muscle. Perception has a substat of awareness and outlook, endurance, stamina, and toughness, agility, coordination, and quickness intelligence, technology, and knowledge, and charisma has appearance and charm, and then luck has just luck. And there's also fatigue, which is derivative from various different stats. So you start out with some base stats. These are not all zero, right? So if I wanted to, you can do, um, I can enter one to raise, say let's do strength. Or, um, sorry, I choose one. I've now raised my strength. I can also do one lower, and I lower my strength. And I can keep lowering it because I didn't start. Well, maybe that's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm sorry, down. It would be one and down. So I can lower my strength, and you'll notice my stat points are going up. Now I'm back to 20, 21. 
I started at 20, so I've now lowered it so much that I'm gaining stat points, right, that I can use in other places if I choose to. Um, but the stats that you're given is a good starting point for most characters. So let's do, let's make a really, really strong character. The other thing to take into consideration is that your character is going to come out of card gen and they're not going to be a badass. Syndem is a progressive game. You gain experience points as you play, up to three a day. They're given out at various points during the day. It's something of a schedule, you'll notice, um, to non-idle players. So you can't just idle all day and get UE, as it's called. Uh, later on, after we get out of card gen, I will explain a little bit more about that. But your character progresses as time goes on. Um, so let's see. I will make. I'll keep making him very, very strong. There does come a point where you can't raise the stat any further in character generation. That doesn't mean that you're not able to raise the stat further later on when you accumulate some UE. So endurance is another good thing to get to average. Endurance heavily uh, influences fatigue. Fatigue happens when you're walking around, when you're sneaking, when you're fighting, when you're doing things in the game. So having a decent endurance allows you to do more things before you tire out. Now, normally, you're not going to tire out just walking around, but if you get into a fight and you start taking damage, your, your endurance and your fatigue can play a part. So now that I've used all my stat points, I can hit done. If you, just, if you screw up and you want to go back to zero or back to normal, where, where it started, you can just type start over. Um, so I will type done, and now I'm taken to a list of skills. You can type skills to get more information or help skills after uh, you're out of car gen. So I can type help skills and I can see there's it's broken down into combat skills, reflex skills, science skills. It's very good help file. So check that out. I'm gonna make a mechanic so I do auto tech, right? Or I choose two and it asks you how many points you want to raise it. I have You'll notice right here, 80 points to distribute among 31 skills. So I'll raise it 10. Now you'll see my auto tech went from unskilled to poor. I can type 2 again and 10, and it's at amateur. I can type 2 again and 10, and it's aspiring. It's a good idea to focus on 2 to 4 skills or one skill if you really want. I mean, you'll have to, to, there comes a point, I think you can only put a certain amount of points in off the bat. Let's see. So two and 10, two and 10, two and 10. So I can't raise it any higher. I've now raised it to adept, right? So I now need to spend my 30 points in some other skill. You can distribute them evenly with 40 points in each. It's all up to you. You could even choose to put one point in every skill, though that will really basically accomplish nothing. Um, you can attempt just about anything unskilled, but that doesn't mean that you're going to have a good result. Most of the time, you won't have a good result, and sometimes you can have a result that will hurt you. In the, as an example, if you try to break into a car that has a special kind of security system, maybe it shocks you. Um, so I'm auto tech which means I'm going to be maybe, uh, you, you know, I could be a mechanic. So maybe trading is a good skill to also have since I'm going to be potentially doing some haggling or maybe driving. So let's look down this list and find where driving is so I can actually fix a car and then drive it. Number eight, and I will raise it 10. Number eight, I will raise it 10. Number eight, I will raise it 10. And now I've used all my skills and I'm aspiring at driving. Uh, there is a stat and skill curve, meaning when you get to a certain point, it starts to cost more UE to raise a stat or skill. Um, not something you necessarily need to worry about uh, right away, though adept is past the skill curve. So it will cost more than the normal 0.5 UE for a skill or the normal 1 or 2 UE, depending upon the stat, for stats. So now I am done. It's going to ask me now to write a description of my character. There's an example description. 
And then there's what I'm going to help you with right now. A description, you type D, and then you can start entering your description. It should be one paragraph. You don't necessarily want to do multiple paragraphs at this point. So start by describing things that be noticeable about your character regardless of their clothing. So after car gen, you're going to get some clothes, and they're going to cover up certain parts of your body. So you don't want to necessarily describe the tattoo you have on your chest. In fact, don't describe tattoos at all if you can help it, because there are in-character ways to get tattoos. If you want to describe a tattoo, I will go over that. I mean, you can give your character a tattoo, but I recommend going later and finding a tattooist or tattoo artist and actually getting that tattoo uh, in the game. Tattoos are permanent when you get them in the game. Um, so a description would be something that a passerby on the street would notice about you, regardless of your clothes. So he stands at six and uh, an impressive six foot seven, and he has a very burly build. Uh, what else could we say about our character that would be easy to spot at a distance? He walk or he moves with the confidence and grace of a much smaller man. He carries himself, or you know, he moves or he carries, whatever. Um, he appears to be of Eastern European descent. Sorry, I'm an awful speller. Uh, spell check your descriptions, please. Otherwise, it could be immersion breaking for the other players that have to read it. Um, what are some other things that we could say about the character? Is there anything at this point? Your character's description is fluid. It can change. You can change it on the fly at any moment in the game. So you could even change it to be, like, say your character gets into a fight and you want to roleplay them having a black eye. You can do that. Now, there are two ways to set your description. In character generation, it's letting you set a main description like I've described. So you hit enter, and then you hit a single period on its own line to continue. After car gen, I'll discuss how to set up your at nakeds. You can type help at nakeds after car gen to get more information on that. Uh, so we can choose our descent. I said he was Eastern European, so uh, let's just say he's whatever. We'll just say he's Portuguese. Yes, then you can choose your character's hair. Just select the number, give him dark brown hair, confirm. Select if it's the hairstyle, curly, wavy, straight, bald. Obviously, he's not bald. Well, I mean, I guess he could be with brown hair, but it doesn't matter. Yes, um, maybe he's an albino now. This is eye color. And height, we gave, we said he was 6'5", five, five, so we'll put tall. Uh, what's his build? We said he had a sort of burly build, so we'll say husky, which could mean fat. Uh, and then it's going to ask you how you heard about Syndom. I heard about it other. Now, at this point, we are in character, okay? Which means that everything that your character says or does is its character, not you. Okay? So, a couple things. You'll notice there's city gates here. This is, the, this is where you are, city gate, door to the dome. This is the description of where you are. There's a red arrow pointing south. At this point, you could go north, out of the city and into the Badlands. I don't recommend doing that because there's not a lot out there. It's the Badlands. And it's more for advanced characters that know what they're doing. Uh, you'll also notice that I have been signed into the Game Help channel. This is for players to talk to other players. It allow like, so if I have a question, um, I can type X game. Hey, this is Brendan slash Slither testing, right? And I was able to chat. XG may also work test. No, it doesn't. So X game. Um, you'll notice that a player has responded. Hi there. This person had a feeling. 
I am doing a screencast for character sign up. And then I will wave. And then I'm going to silence this channel so that we don't get any further distractions from it. Um, if you silence it, you can XCON game to join the game help channel, then XM message to send messages. There's also an OOC chat channel, which you can type at XCON OOC. You can change your aliases with at X alias, so you're out of character alias. Um, so at this point, you can type at newbie, which gives you a bunch of information, a lot. Everybody new to the game should type at newbie. Everyone should also type at rules and check these out. We do enforce the rules here. And just like if you're pulled over and you're like, sorry, officer, I didn't know that running a red light was against the law, they're still going to give you a ticket. Not knowing that something is against the rules is not an acceptable reason. We will, as admin, potentially have to remove you from the game until you fix, say, your description. If you describe yourself as a magical unicorn, which somebody that I recruited to the game decided to do one time, um, just read the rules, follow them. If you have any questions, you can ask an admin. Now, normal questions that don't involve your character or something that's happening to them in character that wouldn't reveal IC information, as we call it, you can ask on X game. So you could type X game, how do I pick something up and players that are on that channel or admin will respond if you need to talk to an admin or an, you know about something in character if you have a question if you're stuck you can type X help make sure you read the rules because there are specific things you can and cannot X help about uh, so X help this is a test my message has been sent an admin will respond if they're around and uh, that's that so again, I type look, and I can see that I can go self. Now, I said I was going to talk to you about setting your at nakeds. If you want to look at yourself, you can type look me, Brendan, naked hulking man with albino eyes. Also something to consider, you're naked at this point. You come into the city naked, just like you come into any world, uh, like come into the real world. You can see the description. He stands at an impressive 6'7", and he has a very burly build. He moves with the confidence and grace of a, sm a much smaller man. He appears to be of Eastern European descent. You are holding nothing. You are in excellent condition and physically rested, but recovering slowly. You have a small amount of chine on you. Your recovery rate dict is dictated by your fatigue. Um, you can see the admin here has responded. And it's in bright yellow, so it's hard to miss. Uh, you have a small amount of Chayan on you. Chayan is the game's currency. You can type count to see how much Chayan you have on you. I have 1,050 Chayan. Um, a fast way to type look me is L me or L south, L north. Um, you can look at other characters, stuff like that. I can check my inventory by typing I, but I'm empty handed. So I can go south and I will stumble into the city. Um, to set your extended description, we call it nakeds. You can type help at nakeds, and it's going to give you some information. You'll also see these play tips every now and then. When you do things, or when you're exploring different commands, you will get a small UE bonus, which you can use towards your stats and skills. Uh, a lot There's about 50 play tips that you can get um, for various different things in the game. So you'll notice that as you progress. You can type help and see various different help files. And as you explore the help files and try out different things, you will get um, more information. And from there, you'll be able to find more play tips. Um, so at nakeds, your left eye is not set, your right eye is not set, your left ear, your right ear. So you can basically set a naked for every part of your body. The reason that nakeds are great is because you can set a naked for your left eye and then put on a left eye patch and that naked will no longer be shown. So let me give you an example of a naked. At naked, left eye is. Now, some people prefer to describe their left eye and their right eye separately. 
I don't. If you, unless there's something very unique about the left eye or the right eye, I will put his eyes are a bright blue. Now, if you look at me, well, also that gives you a play tip. If you look at me, you can see his eyes are bright blue. The reason this is a different color is because it's an actual naked part of my body that I've described. If I wore an eye patch over this, it would just show up in the normal color. Um, but my naked would not show up. I can also describe my back, my chest, etc. Um, I could describe my right eye, or I could clear. If I need to clear it, I can type at naked, left eye is blank. Now if I look at myself, you'll see nothing, right? Another important command is at stats. This gives you a breakdown of your character. This is my character's name. He's tall. He's albino. His natural hair color. The build heritage. This is the stuff I selected in CarGem. Some of this information is visible to other people's, i.e. your short de description. Naked hulking man with albino eyes. Um, your stats. This is all out, sort of your out of character stat sheet. You can set your at face. You currently do not have a clone, something you should figure out how to get in character as soon as possible, so that when you die, you clone instead of having to start a new character. You can see how much UE you have, and you'll notice like 3.5 from those different play tips I got. My skills, the play tips that I've uncovered, the fact that I'm recovering from activity slowly. A lot of this game is common sense and built to mimic the real life, or the real world. So. If you're like recovering from activity in real life slowly, what do you do? Well, you, maybe you go get a Powerade or you eat something. The same tenant, tenant follows here. If you want to assign your UE, you can do assign UE. And I currently have 1.35 UE to expend. There's stats, skills, languages. You can specialize in weapons. There's advantages you can set. In Cargen or after Cargen, you have three advantages that you can set that give you boosts and buffs to certain skills and uh, like stuff like breaking into a car or thievery or whatever you can check those out as you go along um, so now you can type look again and you can see doors to the badlands there's graffiti here and the graffiti is in a different color a great thing about the game is highlighting things in different colors that are interactable. So L graffiti. You can see new to the dome, something, 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 sort of like faded over time. That's how graffiti happens and works. Abandon all hope, you who enter here. You can go south. You see the exits here. Checkpoint Omega. Here are some players that got this far and never finished coming into the game. There's more graffiti that we can look at, right? So this right here, where the strong survive and the rest rot and bleed, was create was painted by my one of my very first characters about wow eleven years ago. So kind of cool uh, that it's still there. So you could look at some of these players. L a look arras or however you pronounce it uh, looks dead inside. So this is an example of a really bad description. Uh, let's see how Quadu did. Jesus, I can't, I'm just skipping him because I can't spell it. Uh, so here's Alan, has a bright red quiff with the same color eyes. He's about an average height. Again, when you're doing a description, do not add, like, do not describe your clothing. You will buy clothing once you get into the game. So here's a guy who didn't seem to understand um, how to end his description. If that happened to you, you can type help at describe, and it gives you some information. You can also just type at describe and your new description, and it will change your description. Or I'm sorry, at describe me as and your new description. Um, you can continue south. Now that you've continued south, you're going to get a message here, and it's going to say, you know, th this is in character. A guard is walking along, and he's telling you about stuff in the game. Uh, do you want to leave this line? No. Uh, you advance in the line. I'm not going to read this stuff. I want you guys to read it in character. It's very important to read the descriptions 
read the graffiti, look at the players around you, look at the world. Um, sometimes it's not super duper obvious on purpose how you interact with certain objects. Um, so again, we're going through, it's giving more information. I am still in this line. It's a very long line, apparently. Um, many chances to leave. And at this point, it's asking me for a full name. So it's not asking me for a nickname. This is sort of out of character in a way. You want to provide your character's full name. So I will put Brendan uh, Michelson. It's not my actual name. Whatever. So make sure you get it spelled right and everything. So that's my name. I give it. Some weird shit is happening that is all in character. And then I come into the city. I stagger in, as you see here, and I collapse on the ground. I type, look, I'm unconscious. So whatever they just did to me, which you'll find out about in-game, uh, has caused me to pass out. Eventually I'll wake up. It's about 30 seconds. And when I do wake up, it'll make it it'll make me aware that I'm waking up by showing me the city around me, basically. Uh, so you'll notice you get up off the ground, rubbing the back of your neck tenderly. City gate to the courtyard. There's a lot of information here. There's something that says what time it is. There's a hologram. Um, there's a group of people standing to the south. There's a street to the south, a clothing store to the west, public coffins to the east. Coffins, uh, you'll also see this red text. This red text is part of the SIC network, Secure Identification Chip, or the SIC network. I mean, that's what it is. You can type help SIC to get a bunch of information. It's basically like having a chat room in your head, except it's your voice and thoughts that are transmitted. So you'll see people, some stuff has a dollar sign in front of it. That's when someone's talking on an encryption, and you're not going to see necessarily what they say. You're going to see some encrypted stuff. So I can look east, I can look south, I can look west. Um, to the west is a clothing store, and I don't have any clothes, so it would be a good idea that I go buy some. Sometimes there's clothes lying around. You can pick them up. So I see there's a table here, right? There's tables. There's also Hardy. I can look at Hardy. There's information about Hardy. Description. You'll notice that sometimes NPCs have descriptions that uh, include clothing and stuff like that. And that's because they're NPCs. Don't uh, mimic that style. So we can also look at the tables, L tables. And then you'll see a bunch of stuff on the table. If we examine here, we see a bunch of, of verbs, right? Stock, unstock, look, receipt. A lot of these are um, these are basically for the owner of the store. But I can do check one on tables and it shows me a stylish leather jacket and gives me information or a description of that jacket right I can L2 on tables right L1 on tables or check to check the price and description so let's look at the tables again and we can also count our money wow it cost us money to get in now all we have is 50 left let's buy a pink raincoat buy 15 from tables Yes, where uh, I can type I. Now I see my I'm carrying a pink rank or neon raincoat. I can type L neon to check it out, and I can also examine it. E X neon or examine neon, and I see that there are several verbs: where, remove, at coverage, at commands are out of character commands, so you can ignore that for now. Give neon to anything hold, use, whatever, neon. When there's a slash, just means that these are just aliases. So you could use hold, or you could use lower, or you could do stash, or sheath, or sling, or unwield, or wield. They're kind of all synonyms. Some are for holding, some are for putting something away. Uh, tease neon, trash neon, inspect neon, lift neon. Uh, so we're going to do wear neon. Now, when I look at myself, he is wearing a bright neon pink plastic raincoat with large flowers on it. Okay. So at this point, we're nearing the end of this video. I'm going to head back outside. 
And then I notice to the west, there are sleeping coffins. I'm sorry, to the east, there are sleeping coffins, right? A building marked public coffins. Now, sleeping coffins are where you can sleep when you're new. And they are free for new immigrants. So you come in here. You can type coffin or sleep. It's the same thing. There's also a quick clean sanitation booth you can get into. Uh, to, if you have money and you want to get clean, you can smell yourself. Smell me. Musky smell of fresh sweat. Um, as your character walks around dirty streets and explores different areas, they're going to get dirty, and if someone smells them, they may smell really bad. Smell can also have an effect on your charisma and how you're perceived in the game, so staying clean is actually relatively important for certain characters. So, don't fall asleep in on the street. Fall asleep somewhere safe. In the beginning, again, you can type sleep in the coffin area, and you'll be able to get into a coffin and shut it behind you and you're nice and secure no one's around here you even get a play tip for doing it and this is a safe place to disconnect don't sleep on the streets or you'll be robbed as time progresses you may want to upgrade to well you're going to have to upgrade because you're only able to sleep in coffins for so long to like a cube so there's cube hotels which are like slightly bigger than coffins there's apartments um, and various different ways to get secure living situation to quit, you can just close this window or type at quit. You can save the session as an HTML log. You can reconnect. You can close all windows. Now, remember, when I reconnect, I can type, it's going to say that player doesn't exist because, remember, our player name changed. So connect Brendan and then the password or whatever your username is. That's about it. I hope that was really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, you can email me directly at slither, S-L-I-T-H-E-R, at syndom.org. Uh, I appreciate all feedback. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great time in the game.